I feel like the hustle culture is just so idolized. It is discipline over motivation. I started reading this book. It's Usually I go into grand themes. Today I'm just like, wow. You never see the sky if you keep looking down. And if you take the wrong way. nice right now I'm really proud of myself for smashing out this workout on a Monday morning before work um today was actually surprisingly really good like I felt like I had enough energy to get through my workout yeah I felt awake and I felt so good and I'm so happy and I'm so proud of myself in terms of getting myself to the gym first day I feel like it's not really motivation that will get you to the gym it's discipline my sister and my brother and I scheduled in our like gym appointment sort of thing it's not an appointment but we just kind of like scheduled it in we get to the gym like seven and then you know that's it like no excuses and then get like an hour and a half session in and you know it works because like having like a schedule is so effective and making sure that you kind of just do it if you take anything out of this video make sure that you stay disciplined it is discipline over motivation because motivation doesn't come as often as we want it to um motivation comes like 20 percent of the time i'll be honest so yeah just make it a priority for yourself to work out for yourself you know <laughs> I didn't even apply my face mask on properly. It's so patchy. <laughs> it's okay. It's whatever. I just put it on my main breakout spot. So I'm breaking out here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think you can. And I'm breaking out there. There's like a massive one there. I don't usually break out in that area. Usually I break out here and on my chin. When you break out here. It means you have a hormonal imbalance. Yay, which is me, I guess. But it's okay. I've come so far with my skin anyways. My skin used to be so, so much worse two years ago. I'm glad that's over. Bye. We're not going back to that. I started reading this book. 13 Things Mentally Strong People Do by... Wait. 13 Things Mentally Strong People Don't Do. Not Do. Sorry. Don't Do by Amy Morin. So we're gonna build some resilience and find out the 13 tips which is already on the back of the book. To master your mental strength, this is exactly what I need. Yeah, I'm just not mentally strong, so um, I'm excited. And she already mentioned that this is like a daily practice you have to do, so I'm ready to, I'm ready. I'm ready to um, apply this into my daily life and put it into my daily routine. Because we out here trying to grow and evolve and become better versions of ourselves and this is something I feel like I need to do for myself so I don't fall trap into I don't fall into the trap of you know becoming you know you guys know what I mean my brain has officially shut down it is turned off switched off and said goodnight so yeah. <laughs> Me likey. 
I haven't even gotten to the first tip yet, which is don't waste your time feeling sorry for yourself. No, we ain't got time to be feeling sorry for ourselves. I don't want to do that. Two, don't give your power away. Okay. Three, don't shy away from change. Ooh. Four, don't focus on things you can't control. Number five, don't worry about pleasing everyone. That's me. I'm trying, I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. Six, don't fear taking calculated risks. We like that. Seven, don't dwell on the past. Also trying, keyword trying. It takes mental effort, I'm not gonna lie. Eight, don't make the same mistakes over and over. I feel like I don't really make the same mistakes over and over again. I think. <laughs> don't resent other people's success. Ooh, that's a good one. Eleven, don't fear alone time. Eleven, I'm very good at. I do not fear alone time. I love my alone time. Twelve, don't feel the world owes you anything. Ooh, I'm interested to read that one. I was... Okay. Oh, my hands hurt. I completely forgot that I was cooking rice in the stove. I've never burnt rice before, I swear. And um, I just wasted a whole bunch of rice. And look at that, it's literally burnt. So I'm just trying to get the ones that aren't burnt out and put it in this bowl. Um, yeah, hope you can't taste it. Let me try, actually. Okay, it's not bad. What a waste of rice, I'm really sad. The bottom is literally so burnt. I don't know if you guys can see that. Love that for me. Guys, I swear I'm not this irresponsible. Usually I don't burn things, usually. And that is actually really bad. As long as I can scrape it off, I don't know if I can. Let's try to wash it out. Contemplating chucking it in the bin because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to clean this. <laughs> literally the effort to clean this will be is it worth it? Like, I don't think so. It's getting there, actually. No, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna let that soak for now and hope for the best. Good morning, it is the next day. I'm gonna try this because it is a late day today, so gonna need all the energy we can get. By the way, it's currently sit. Mm. Excuse me. 6.56 But it's 6.56 at the moment AM Rainbow candy, here we come mm -hmm. Actually, it's really good Okay Yeah, it's got that medicine taste for children I'm not a fan I'm not gonna be completely honest But it's not bad, it's tolerable Oh my god guys, like I feel like I've never I have not had this much energy before my workout this early in the morning. So I feel like this pre-workout is like hitting me like really bad. In a good way anyways, like I feel like I have so much energy right now, like I'm talking so fast, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Today I'm just like whoa. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys after the gym because, like, I'm going to utilize this energy to work out and, you know, smash out my leg session. I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited. It's interesting. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, but I'm not leaving. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry if the lighting is bad. Is the lighting bad? <laughs> like the sun is literally in my eyes right now, but that's why I have the sunnies on so I can actually like talk to you guys. <laughs> but the sun is so nice on my face, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna just leave it like this. And if you guys are bothered by it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, but I hope it's okay. What if I move here? I don't think that's helping like at all. I think that's even worse. 
that's better. I think you guys would enjoy that more, right? Serious topic here. I feel like the hustle culture is just so idolized by society, to be honest. I've fallen into the trap of wanting to always do something and always be productive and like i just feel like it's just causes people to feel unhappy about themselves when they have days or weeks of not being productive not working out i don't know it's just it's crazy how much social media has an influence in how we feel about ourselves <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just don't want this video to make you feel bad for not, you know, working out, going to the gym or anything like that because this is something I am committing myself to. You also can do it for yourself. I just wanted to say, like, please don't force yourself into something that you don't really feel like you want to do, if that makes sense. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> I hope it does. <laughs> oh, I've been sitting in my car for like 10 minutes contemplating going inside right now. <laughs> I just can't be bothered. It's literally one of those moments. I have my seat warmers on and I really just can't move because <laughs> it's so warm and I'm, just, I'm cold <laughs> today. So bad. I stayed in bed for an extra 40 minutes. I couldn't get my butt out of bed. TMI, but I did get my period today. So, I'm extra bit like, I'm that extra bit, don't want to do anything sort of mood. And, oh my, okay, what time is it? Okay, it's 7.25. And I literally wanted to get to the gym at 7-ish. This is not too bad, 7.25, not too bad. But still, I just don't really feel like doing anything. And I only will have like an hour session. I was hoping to get an hour and a half in so I can do an hour weight training session and then half an hour cardio on the treadmill. But I don't have time for that because your girl came late. But now I've been sitting in my car for 10 minutes wasting more time. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's do this, please. Let's go. My sister's meant to meet me, but she's also feeling very lazy at the moment. Oh, she's leaving in two minutes. All right, she's coming. Yay. Cool. I'm going to see her very soon. <laughs> let's do this. My fingers are cold. All right, let's go. Alright, let's do a taste test. I bought these English muffins today, so I just had to. I had to eat it with this. I had to have it. Once I buy it, I want to eat it. Cheers! Mm. Mm. The cheese. We love it. Oh my god. I want you guys to have a bite as well. How good is it? It's cheesy. It's so good. Mm. Good morning. Okay, so today is rest day. And to be honest, I don't know where I was going with that. But <laughs> I'm just putting some sunscreen on because I'm going to go for my walk. It's so nice and sunny outside today. And I'm so excited because... I'll be honest, I have not walked outside 
I think the whole week and I'm pretty I would say I'm pretty disappointed in myself because usually it is a part of my routine to walk in the mornings or like walk outside once a day because it's really just good for you know my mental health as well as my physical health of course um, but yeah I haven't really been taking time to go walk outside I've been waking up earlier to go to the gym before work or just in general I haven't really you know taken the time to go outside because I haven't scheduled it in so today I was like okay Jill okay let's go outside let's do this let's go get some vitamin D anyways I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing my sweatshorts I love these actually this is so comfy you guys I love my new sweatshorts I wish I'd got more colors but I was like let's not be impulsive and buy more sweatshorts not right now anyways I'm gonna make some breakfast. I am so excited. I'm gonna have some oats because I just want something warm and cozy. Literally, that's what I've been craving these days. I'm happy because it is healthy, so at least I crave it, you know? <laughs> I don't like force myself to eat it because it's healthy. I actually enjoy eating oats. We need to top it with blueberries, protein powder, oh my god, <laughs> and peanut butter. Oh my god, I might have peanut butter in my today. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Got the goods. I don't know if you guys are interested in watching me make oats, but here it is. <laughs> like, I didn't drink water yet. <gasps> I'm very disappointed in myself. I haven't drank water yet. Let's drink some water. Don't forget to drink your water, guys. <sighs> Can't believe I forgot. Usually I drink water like right after I walk or like in the morning, but I literally forgot. <laughs> it's okay. Cheers. get yourself a bowl we just refill these we've, we've had this these containers for years now i'm not even kidding so i have the rolled oats in this one and this quick oats and usually i like to have rolled oats if i prepare it overnight but i didn't prepare it overnight this is obviously it's quick oats so it cooks quicker than rolled oats <laughs> so i'm just going to combine it today and just do half and half goodness me Add some chia seeds plus my superfood greens powder. Very important, crucial ingredient. Bon appetit. Okay, and then I also have my protein powder. And that is my oats. Yeah. <laughs> love how easy this is to make and I love the taste of it. Mm. It's a very strong green today. I don't know why. Wait. Is that on my list? Oh my goodness. She's ready and hot. And I'm gonna top it off with some maple oh. syrup. Oh, I'm half my banana. Someone eat my banana! I had half a banana left in the fridge. Someone stole it. Quite disappointed, people. Very disappointed. I wanted a banana, but it didn't give me. I literally saved that so I can have it. Oh, whoa, the sun came out. And here it is. My battery's flashing. Anyways, taste test. It's gonna die any second now. Cheers.